It can be inferred or concluded or assumed, that's fine, from the passage that the incidence of osteoporosis in men, A, is always due to genetic factors, B, cannot be treated with hormonal therapy, C, is less severe, E, is seldom. Now, always is a strong word, and so a lot of times you should avoid answer choices with these kinds of words. Now, let's look at this statement. It says, osteoporosis is more prevalent in women than it is in men, we're told. Here's why. This is due to a physiological difference, okay, a difference in the way the body works between the two sexes and not necessarily a result of lifestyle. It's very explicit. So when we come back over here, we need to put it together, okay? It's due to a physiological difference between the two and not a result of lifestyle. Which one of these answer choices is tied to lifestyle? Dietary imperfections, how you eat, that's a part of your lifestyle. So based on the passage, we can infer that the incidence of osteoporosis in men is seldom caused by dietary lifestyle or dietary imperfections.